In this urgent video, we will look at the steps we need to take in order to still receive rewards after 14th of March 2022. Coming right up! So let's start with an overview. As we know, Planet Watch is focusing on improving the network regarding location, data streaming and security. Due to this fact, there is a list of things to check and fix in order for our sensors to receive rewards after the 14th of March. This is the deadline to have these checkpoints done. So the first and most important one is regarding valid licenses attached to all of our sensors. So how can we check this? Well, we need to go to explorer.planetwatch.io, link will be in the description below, and sign in. Here we will use the username and password that we use in the PlanetWatch app. Once you are logged in, we will go to the top right corner and select My Sensors. This new page shows us all of our sensors, and we can easily detect any sensors with issues by the red triangle. So what we need to do is to start going through each of the flagged sensors. So we will select each one and under the details tab we have a troubleshoot button. Once we click it we will see details on that particular sensor. If we see errors under licenses and license NFT then we know that we need to fix it. How are we going to do that? With the PlanetWatch mobile app. While these steps should work on both iOS and Android platforms, I strongly suggest fixing these issues using an Android phone. If you don't have one, just borrow one from a friend. Also, I suggest using a phone and the PC where you have the PlayTwatch My Sensors page open. Once we are logged in, make sure that the wallet associated with the sensor is imported. If it's not, you need to select plus, import passphrase and then paste the 25 words of that wallet. If you want to copy paste them, you can. In case of my algo, log into your account, select the wallet, then click on the three dots next to it and select export wallet. Once we input our password, we will see the 25 words and also a button to copy all of them. On the pair wallet app, we need to select the wallet, tap on the three dots and on view passphrase. Back to PlanetWatch app. Once we imported that specific wallet, we will tap on the sensors and click on plus. Here we will select the type of the license. In case of Keutera and aware element, we will need to onboard them again and be sure to select the wallet where we first onboarded them. In case of Atmotube Pro and Arduino, after selecting the type, we will be allowed to just choose which sensor we want to fix the license problem and hit OK. Once this is done, going back to PlanetWatch Explorer, we can refresh that page and see that the license problem disappeared for those sensors. So we need to do these steps for all the sensors with this problem. The second important check that we need to do in order to ensure that we will receive rewards going forward is to make sure that the true location of each sensor is set. That means that if any sensors are still on the PlanetWatch French address, we need to change it to the real one. Also, it means that we need to set the location for Atmatu Pros and Arduinos. In case of Atmatu Pros, as they are mobile sensors, we need to set the location where they are placed most of the time their home location. Something that was not required until now. But this is also a good news as it will resolve the problem with Arduinos that are set on borders of pixels and the GPS locations bounces between those pixels. The third step is to make sure that we completed the identity verification known as KYC. If we have less than 5 licenses overall, the basic one is enough. If we have more than 5 licenses, we will need to do the advanced one as well. Where can we do this verification? Well, under the same PlanetWatch Explorer, we need to log in using the PlanetWatch app credentials and we will have in the top right menu, the My Verification tab. And the fourth but not least step is to make sure that if we bought licenses under multiple emails, we need to merge them until the deadline. To do that, we need to go to support, login or create a new account if you haven't done already of course, using the same email that we used when buying licenses and we want this to be the main mail account. We'll open a ticket and select merge accounts options. Then we need to provide the requested details. That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. Until next time, 
See ya.